please respect this community's wishes. We do not want this rig here. Please respect the citizens of this community. We do not want this rig here. you're causing. Look at the trucks. Is this, is this great so, policing? About 15 officers during the, during the time when there's nothing here, just making sure people are safe, engaging with people and talking. When the trucks come in and out, I increase the numbers here. There's, a bit, there's around 75 officers here for my use if required. Okay, okay? So, so you think having riot police in a little country village well, with, 70, well, with 70 officers to how many protesters? And look at the vans all parked up okay. here. Got, it's shocking. Well, it, 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 it it's is, really shocking. And if we didn't have to be here, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be here. Baby Falls, hold! When a village where over 90% of the community don't want this industry, who are the police working for? That's basically, there's no social license for this industry, and similar figures are coming in from other villages who've done a similar grassroots survey showing that over 90% of people don't want this industry. Uh, the parish council itself did a survey as well, and 82% came out as against it, but that was quite a while back. But now I think it's drawn a lot more attention to it, and people have realised it's real. So. Yeah. Our road's been damaged, you know who's done it, because look, the, the tracks are actually going in there. So surely, you as police officers have to stop the trucks from coming down because they're damaging the roads. Have you checked the weight on their vehicles? Because obviously that's, that's got too much weight on their vehicles. So we're reporting it to you now as officers. Can you get a traffic officer down here to do the way bridge? Yeah, but normal it's cars not, wouldn't do that no, on this road. Not, these were relayed. These were only relayed. I live here. I live here, mate. I saw them Watch this relayed. car go by now then. That yeah, look, car is see, not going to do any damage that to this road. That car's not done no damage, mate. Look. So you're going to not uphold the law, no? You're not going to uphold the law. They're damaging the roads. Surely you can stop them from coming down here for now because they're damaging the road. Francis Mood, the MP, he's got shares in, in, in the actual company, he actually appointed one of the directors. And also, if there was nothing wrong with it, why are they setting up loads of different limited companies, why not go from the head quadrilla company if there's nothing wrong with it? The reason why is because anything goes wrong here, it doesn't shut down all the companies, it does it? It just shuts down quadrilla It just, just shuts down quadrilla ball game, limited. And their liability is only about, I think, about £37,000. So and then they have to pay, then the taxpayer has to pay the rest out if there's any damage caused. So any damage they do has got a cap on it to be yeah, like £13,000. If, then if, have if, to, then the if, it, if have it's to half a million, we have to make the difference. Yeah, like tax taxpayers. Payers. The and price of insurance is going through the roof and the house prices are going down. Yeah, 15% already they've lost, the house prices. Is it, you know, it's, it's, it's not right at all. And like I said, all we're doing is looking out for our little ones' future and stuff. And even my little girl, she's the one who pulled me out this morning and said, come down, Dad, you know. And that's because she, she actually watches the law act, you know what I mean? Fighting well for done. the trees and stuff like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's, it's, if a little one can see the danger it's doing, then why can't all us adults? The amount of money it's costing to police this, and they say they're here to protect us. But we're actually here protecting their future, not yeah, that's it. You you know, that's, that's we're, right we're protecting the future of, the, of this country. So that's everybody here, all these policemen, all the G4S, everybody who lives in this country. We're trying to protect and them. That's why the rest of the country should get down here and start fighting. Once you frack, there's no going back. Once you frack, there's no going back.
Alex, not too much. Nobody wants it here, please. This time, it was me. quite obviously not weight because look at the damage to our roads. I drive coaches up and down here. So it's never go, ever done this damage. See it and this is the second complaint I've made about the damage to our roads. And these police officers are ignoring the fact that it's damaging our roads and could potentially injure some of our children if a car comes down here and has an accident. Most of these people are from Sussex. There are people coming tomorrow from Lancashire who are also at risk directly from Quadrilla. They have every right to be here and say, no, you're setting a potentially lethal precedent. They had nearly 900 detailed, articulate responses saying why we didn't think they should issue a mining waste permit. They had 9,000 signatures on the petition. Two days later, they issued it regardless. So I've now learnt, and that's only just one example, that this process is a waste of time. It doesn't work. The day after that, DEC issued the drilling permit. Sussex! Free Sussex! Free Sussex! Free Sussex! Free Sussex! Free Sussex! Shale gas is the main prize across the Wheel Basin and the Bowling Shale, but then this is oil and it's not shale, it's limestone, so it's a bit of, a, it's a bit of an anomaly. And there's coal bed methane, which is known as coal seam gas in Australia. They're already doing it, and it does involve fracking. So coal bed methane also involves fracking. It's already happening in Falkirk. They're already dumping in the Firth of Forth. They're trying to do it in Somerset as well. Lord Howell, he's just shown himself up for what he is. He's the Chancellor's father-in-law. He's deeply invested in the industry, and he thinks it's OK that we can frack the desolate north because there's plenty of room for fracking. We don't know how near Technica they are to starting, but my understanding is that there's a major hitch because they got the wrong planning permission for their flare. Their flare is different than the planning permission they applied for. So they've reapplied, only the council has accepted it as an amendment, not a resubmission. And they're not considering that till October. The drilling permit doesn't allow, the mining waste permit do, does not allow them to go ahead until they've got full planning permission. So if they start drilling, as far as I understand it, they're in breach. I think this is the fastest growing environmental movement possibly ever. There are already quite a lot of regional groups, but they're coming up all the time. Frack free this, frack free that. Northern Ireland, several in Wales, Somerset, Derbyshire's just started, Devon, everywhere. It's popping up all over the place. It, it, almost each day, I, I, somebody sends me a new Facebook page or a new website or a new group that's saying, actually, no, we don't want this here. We're up all night to go back in. 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 We're up all night to go back in.